Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel English Vigadan. So you have been learning about English sounds these days, especially vowels and consonants. So you learned about vowels, pure vowels and diphthongs. Then coming to consonants, you have voiced and voiceless consonants. In the previous video, you learned about voiced consonants. Today, you are going to learn about voiceless consonants. So you know the difference between voiced and voiceless. So voiced consonant sounds, so when we make them, the vocal cords vibrate and there is intense buzz going around. In, okay, But when we make voiceless consonants, the vocal cords do not vibrate. Okay. So it is uh, pronounced at the tip of the lips. So it is just goes with a very soft voice. That's why they are known as voiceless consonant sounds. Let us learn one by one. The first, let's start with F, F, F. So like fine, fame, favorite, F. Okay, next sound it could be ha, 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 heaven, him, her, ha, ha. Okay, next sound it could be ka, 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 king, kind, keen, ka. Next sound it is pa, 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 pa. So there is no vibration, there is no intense pressure. Okay, pa, pa, pain, pink, palm, pa, pa. Next you have t, 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 time, tank, teen, t. Okay, next you have s, 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 same, some, sing, s, s. Okay. Next three sounds do not represent the letters, like starting with the, the, thanks, tooth, thanks, tooth, thine, okay, the sound. Next you have ch, 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 church, chain, chair, ch, ch sound. Finally, we have sh, sh, fish, dish, shrine, sh sound. So these are the voiceless consonant sounds. So you have learned almost all the 44 English international alphabet or international phonetic alphabet. Okay, 44 sounds. So hereafter when you read or when you have a doubt the, about the pronunciation of a particular word, try to find out the international phonetic alphabet and try to pronounce correctly. Okay, so that is the purpose of uh, this lecture. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.